Okay, so as a follow-up to my previous uh, board electrical system and a single battery box video, um, I'm going to be converting my board electrical system into a lithium-ion system using Reliant 35 amp hour batteries and two of them. So that gives me a total of 70 amp hours um, with the lithium ion, which hopefully will last longer than the AGM they used to use. Um, so here's the same system basically. It's using the same SIACRs. It's using uh, the same uh, switch. Um, and it's been a little updated for lithium ion batteries. So instead of using a normal AGM charger, I'm going to be using a lithium ion charger. And I've also updated the wiring a little bit. I'll go through over that and show you what it looks like. Um, so here's the basic system consisting of the SIACR Blue C systems. Um, these are the specifications for it. Um, and last time I had left out the front cover. Now the cover can go on again because my cables are a little bit better. They're professionally made. Um, they're using two AWG wiring. So look at the wire sizes. We want to do 75 amp hours. So we are going to size it a little bit bigger than what we need to. We're going to size it for a number two. And um, yeah. So fuses will be um, relying on the Reliant fuses. We don't actually need fuses since the Reliant has an active battery management system which works quite well. Um, as far as the other fusing goes, the usual fuses apply. I have a one amp and a ground disconnect for long term storage. Um, everything is hooked up. These are the wire sizes and the lugs. So last time I had calculated the lugs are properly. These are the calculated lugs. You can substitute inches for these M10 and M8 sizes. So here's it um, focusing. Yeah, so hopefully that's in focus. You can see the wires required for this thing. I'm going to be using a plastic crate, which is smaller than my uh, battery box from last time, because it's transparent and it also works a lot better. There's less outgassing, the lithium ions outgas oxygen. So you don't need to worry about uh, uh, outgassing as much. So, um, so same techniques apply. You have red, red to uh, 35 amp hour rely on house battery you have the start which is your outboard battery um, these go to switch position two I'm going to put a one side goes to the outboard leg one side goes to the house leg and um, so yeah same things apply um, Red goes to red from house leg goes to B side. A side gets the leg from the outboard leg. Um, I'm also going to connect my charger. So my charger is actually connected here. It's a lithium ion charger. It's a G3500 and I'll go over it um, slightly later in this video. This connects here. Black leg connects to black. And so it charges it and the charge is distributed by the SIACR as usual. And the alternator charge also comes through that. So you can charge it with 110, you can charge it with 18 amps, 12 volts, which is coming off the outboard. And basically the SIACR handles both um, scenarios. Um, yeah, so that's what it looks like. I've got two amp and four amp fuses on these as required for my accessories. Uh, my bilge pump comes here, secondary bilge pump also comes here, uh, board electrical system comes here. Um, this has outboard and charger and that's how it works. And now I'll go over actually what it looks like in real life and then I'll assemble it. My board electrical system in a single box. I've gone from this huge thing which is one battery basically uh, in my last video, and I covered that, it's with a standard lead acid AGM. 
um, to this one. This is just a um, slightly more advanced version. This has two. Um, it has two batteries. It's got two lithium iron phosphate batteries. So it's from Reliant. They're two 35 amp hour batteries. So it's basically the same as the old one, except it fits in half the space. Um, so I formed around it so the batteries fit into the foam. These are the foam compartments for the batteries. Um, so that way you minimize shock. And I basically used, you know, nicely wired cables this time around. There's no need to hammer them flat. I just bought the cables off the shelf. They are heat shrinked and properly done with the proper, um, the proper wrench for crimping the cables, crimp wrench. Um, this is what it looks like from the back. So basically just washers and screws and all the wires are nicely connected up. There's fuses at the back for the lithium iron charger, which is um, this one here the G3500 it has a lithium ion mode um, which is this blue thing here lithium and uh, I've used the same I've added a voltmeter to it so it'll give me battery voltage and I'm using the same SI ACR blue C systems and I've got a disconnect switch as well so I will be covering the battery diagram um, in a bit but that's the disconnect. Take it with you as well, but it will cut off your bilge pumps. So um, these are pretty light. I can basically lift them with one finger. So 35 amp hours, two of them, one starter, one house, and fits into a little plastic shelving unit. Um, and these actually emit oxygen, so. Um, there's a little bit of ventilation If you look here, there's a little bit of ventilation so it can vent out if it needs to so it won't catch fire um, I've used these end connectors um, Just for making sure it doesn't catch fire. These are the positive and negative house and uh, ground and um, Outboard so yeah Um, yeah. I've connected up the system. You can see the battery caps are still on. So these little things. Um, this is encased in flotation foam, so it acts as a shock absorber and also this thing. And this is the final resting place for these things. All hooked up, ready to go. Put in. Uh, ground connector on. Battery system on. I can test it out my test probe. There you go, 13 volts. System is operational. Shut off. Let's go. So this is the Lucy ACR. Lithium mode charging the batteries. You can see it's lit up here. See, it's combining the batteries. This is actually. It's powering the boat electronics.